Good morning. It is about 10.45 a.m. on a Thursday. I am at this tanning salon letting the tanning bed warm up a little bit and wanted to do a quick video while that's going on. Um, I found a YouTube video on how to make the best keto flour for baking. And I don't know if you guys know that I've been very well known over the years for my baking, my desserts particularly, my, my desserts. And um, I haven't been doing a lot of baking because of my weight um, and knowing that I need to avoid eating too much sugar. And over the years, I've experimented doing a lot of sugar-free desserts and, you know, some of them are good, but really finding a good flour substitute has what, and a good sugar substitute have been the main issues. Like, I could never find something that was as good as regular sugar and regular white flour. So, I found this new, this new channel and this new recipe that I'm really looking forward to trying. I'm gonna have to order some of the ingredients on Amazon, the powdered egg whites and um, the oat fiber. I have the almond flour, but there's some, I was listening to the, the person that created the baking flour and understand the chemistry and how it all works. So I'm really excited to try it and start making some of my old recipes, but with, the new, improved, better for you, higher protein, you know, no sugar, no added sugar, basically the way I, I need to eat to, um, for my optimum health. I've really kind of neglected my health over the last few months. I went through a rather long depression and I'm coming out of it, albeit slowly. I have my good days and bad days, but I keep remembering the successful times that I have gotten in better shape and lost weight and where I was feeling happiest with my body and with my life is when I'm able to have dessert, you know, especially because I'm known for that, you know, I'm a baker and my company name is Deb's Dessert, so people associate me with dessert and I have noticed that no matter how healthy of a meal I eat, I, I, I want that ending. I want that dessert at the end, even if it's just three bites like the French do. The French have a three bite rule where no matter what they're having, if it's a dessert or some really rich food, they only they stop with three bites because that's all that your taste buds can really appreciate. And then after that, it's just sort of filling up space, which is why you're supposed to sort of save your dessert for last. So you don't have that empty space in your stomach to fill up with dessert. You want to fill up with the good stuff and then, you know, end with the sweet stuff, I guess is the way you could say it. Um, but that is what is on my mind today. I apologize. My eyes look really tired. I have new contacts and I actually called my eye doctor and I said, I can hardly see with these. And she said, well, you're, you have to give your brain one to two weeks to get used to the, the new focus. And I'm like, oh, I don't have one or two weeks to get my eyes in focus. <laughs> I want them in focus now. <laughs> but that's why my eyes look the way they do. That and I don't have makeup on. There's no sense of wearing makeup and going to the tanning bed. But I've done that before too, depending on if I'm on my way to work straight after. But today I've done my workout. I've done my supplements and now I'm here at tanning. I'm putting my priorities first and I haven't done that in a while, so that feels good. But I'm not too happy with how my eyes look. I look really tired and I know it's these new contacts. I can hardly see myself and I should be able to see really clearly, but I don't. So maybe it'll be, hopefully it'll be better at the next video. So I'm gonna shut this off now and get Get to tannin. I will talk to you soon.